Okay, this is a video on a 16 Sport 1500 Ram. Uh, it's the same as the Rebel. Um, I have made a previous video about this, about the air suspension issues with cold weather. What happens is, and I've found this out about reading threads and going through diagrams and experimenting, I have come to find out that the nitrogen system is in fact not sealed. Um, as much as people want to think it is, it is not sealed. Uh, and I'll explain why and I'll show you why. Um, the other week, uh, it's December, it's mid-December right now at the moment. Now it's cold out and there's ice, snow all over the road, everywhere. Now, the summertime, I had taken a siphon pump and I'm gonna flip. Now, in order to get to this, you have to have a T25. You take these two screws out, right? Here and here. Your light comes out right up in here. You have these two hoses, okay? You have, from my understanding, the way the diagram works is this is your um, air release. When there's too much air in the system, it will blow out, so it's kind of like a blowback valve. This, as far as I can tell, is the actual uh, the filter that draws air in if there's not enough air in the system. Now, that explains, hold on, let me try and do this one hand. This filter, right, because you don't want any contaminants in the pump. Pop that off. Right? So, before I get sidetracked, <laughs> um, if you are having suspension, air suspension problems, messages on your dash that are saying, uh, Payload, payload uh, overexceeded, um, air suspension problems, um, if it's constantly just flashing, raising, or lowering, and it's not doing anything, and you are up north somewhere where it's freezing out, the pump is probably frozen, and that's where this stuff comes in line, so it's airline antifreeze, um, rust inhibitor, and lubricant. So, uh, another thing that you can do is you can run a battery blanket. Uh, the diesels have them for the secondary battery. Um, I have a 10 foot extension cord that goes through the back window. I'm going to put a rubber grommet up through the, under the back seat. Uh, so this isn't like this. This is just temporary. Now, this is actually under the truck here. All right. You have this right above the exhaust. Now, I put a bungee cord on here, uh, temporary. So, battery blanket's here and it's wrapped around the compressor, which is right here, the compressor. And I got the battery blanket, uh, battery blanket wrapped around. And then you put the little felt cover back on and then I just put a bungee cord you can do zip ties or you can put the original um, things in there but they always break oh see that's the compressor working now anyway now over the summer I had drained the system out I had taken a, the smallest little uh, aquarium fish hose and I had gotten this um, a siphon pump and I had put it in this one here. I pushed it down as far as I could um, and I pulled some liquid out and it was the previous winter um, air brake antifreeze that I had put in. It was a CRC brand, uh, Napa brand, uh, and it worked great. That uh, in conjunction with the battery blanket. Uh, one works good, the other one works great. Um, if you put them together, it works all the time. Um, anyway, so if you were having these problems uh, with the, like I said, the flashing, raising, lowering, and it's not doing anything, give this a try. 
it will save you a ton of money if that is in fact the problem and you love your truck and you don't want to trade it or you can't trade it and you are you live up north and it's freezing out all the time um yeah so it's raising and the great thing about this is, is that when you put this stuff in the truck raises and lowers so much faster because everything um, it's all lubricated it's all good to go you know you got all the moisture out great nope. um, my long-term my long term of this truck is I am going to pull the airbags out and put regular coil suspension shock struts under this truck um, just for the sake of not having to do this um, it's just a pain in the ass but the air ride does ride 10 times better, I feel, over coils. Uh, but that's just my opinion. So, I hope this helps. Uh, like I said, T25, two screws, this stuff. Take this off, um, pop this off, take the filter out, put the fluid inside that hole, uh, go inside your truck, press up down a couple times let the truck get it through going through the pump uh, and you should be good to go